How long should it take to shoot an advice video? As long as it takes to say the words, so from 3 to 20 minutes. How long to edit? An hour. But the whole process might take 8 hours. So what's going on during those other 7 hours? This has to do with the invisible part of being a visible authority. In other words, how you say what you say. So let's talk it out. The secret to making a great video is to write a great video, and the secret to writing a great video is to talk it out. Otherwise, you get an essay, and no one wants to watch an essay ten times slower than, than they can read. This is just as true for PowerPoint videos as it is for the on-camera kind. So how do you do that? How do you talk it out? Welcome to The Visible Authority, where people come to learn how to build automated paths of attraction. One of the main features of the path is that the person on it feels like they're dealing with a human being, but too often they get a, a clever robot. The problem is that you want to demonstrate how you have a smart solution, but it turns out the way to do that is not to be too smart about it. This was a hard lesson for me to learn. I came from the university world where they pay you by the syllable. Why say use use when you can make more money by saying utilize. And it's not that you're off the hook just because you aren't a college professor. In specialized worlds like engineering, finance, technology, or medicine, the syllables seriously pile up. And not only that, the words they form get farther and farther removed from everyday life to the point where someone comes into your office and they feel like you're speaking a different language. So. How do you solve this problem? Well, you have to do it in the very first stage of making your video. So this is just my way. It's not the only way. It might not even be the best way. But I think it's the best way for people who don't want to leave out important information, uh, don't want to do endless retakes, and don't want to keep starting and stopping the shoot just so they don't have to memorize more than one line at a time. So here's my system. One, writing. Two shooting with a teleprompter, three, editing, and four, posting. About 70% of that time is spent writing, 10% editing, 17% posting, and 3% shooting. So when I say talk it out, you can see what a tiny tip this is, but it has a bigger effect on engagement than many of the other things you'll do, and it's pretty easy to do. So here's an example of the kind of writing you might typically hear in a video on, say, investing. It's vitally important to consider your risk profile when doing an initial evaluation of a security, such as a stock or warrant. Now, let's rewrite it to keep your audience awake by talking it out. First, picture yourself at a table in a noisy restaurant trying to explain this to a reasonably intelligent friend. The key is to ask yourself, what's the emotional signature of that idea? Maybe you're not so hot on the stock, so you say something like, How risky does that stock feel? If it doesn't make your stomach churn, maybe look a little deeper. Or maybe you're kind of loving that stock, so you say something like, What happens if the price starts bouncing around? Are you going to dump it early? You see, that restaurant-type language is the language of video. Now, notice when we talk it out, we also tend to use shorter sentences. Now, if you aren't sure about your length or how it's coming across, here's a cool resource. It's the dataeyes.com readability analyzer. You paste your script into the page and they give you six different reading scores. I like the Dale Chaw. You want it to get no higher than a ninth grade level for video. That's because we don't have a chance to just reread it without going to a lot of trouble. This entire script came out to around a sixth grade level. And by the way, the financial quote I used before, level 15, 10 is college. 15 means you're eating alone. The rewrite came out to fifth grade. So it's not about dumbing it down. It's about being conversational. So talk it out, then cut some more. As William Faulkner said, kill your darlings. As Stevie said, they were never yours anyway. For shorter words and higher profits, I'm Steve Washer. See you next time on The Visible Authority.